Hey all, this is Isaiah Stanback. Big Nate Newton and I would like to thank the Niagara Corporation for their sponsorship of this week's episode of Let Me Tell You Something. In case you're not familiar with Niagara, they're the country's leading manufacturer of water-conserving plumbing products. Products that save real money, like Niagara's stealth technology toilets that reduce water usage by up to 60%. Niagara also works with affordable housing projects and commercial multi-unit properties to save water usage in dollars where it's needed the most. So, if you want to conserve water and save money, check out NiagaraCorp.com. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Isaiah Stanback back in the building for another episode of Let Me Tell You Something. And I'm solo here in the studio, but I'm not <laughs> solo today because I got my big dog, the only dog, Nate Dog, in the house. But he is on the road. Nate Dog, you are reporting live from the car, ain't you? Yeah, man. I'm, you know, you know, during the off season, I always get on the road, man. And I'm in Florida right now at uh where we at my move with my uncle Jeremiah. Where we at up? Uh? Right outside of Wildwood. We're at right outside of Wildwood, Florida, man, on the turnpike, man. And uh we pulled over so we can get with Isaiah, man, and talk about this free agency. Mm. Talk about uh just life itself, man. I think uh you rolling with your, all your babies today, all your all your children. Yeah, I, got, I got all the minions. It's spring break over this way. You know what I'm saying? I know people are yeah. out traveling and all that. I the, I have I got work to do over here, Nate. So the minions gotta right. roll wherever I go, they gotta go. But I'm I'm <laughs> right. I'm spending I'm spending this time, honestly, showing them because you know, let me give you I had an epiphany, Nate. I had an epiphany. Right, right. I, as a parent, especially as a parent mm-hmm. of three youngins, right? So they're all about to have birthdays. So I have the I got a 10-year-old daughter, and I got the twins that are eight, okay? You met one right. of the twins. Y'all saw them on the show last, uh, the, the week before last, okay, with the, with the littles. But trying to teach them what it requires to be the greatest at what you do or one of the greatest at what you do. Um, becoming a pro athlete, obviously, you're in a category of one of the greatest in the country. It, it requires a lot of work and dedication. You know, if you're trying to even go to college, you know, you got to be one of the best in the country at what you do. Right. Scholarships are scarce now, right? There's a lot of people competing for a handful of scholarships. So trying to teach them what's required of them to get to that level, if that's what they want to do, it's difficult when they haven't seen you do it. So my opinion <clears throat> was I'm sitting up here telling them and harping on it and trying to drive this point home and then it's not clicking for them. I was like, you know what? While they're on spring break, I'm going to show them. So every day, we are going and we're putting in some work. We're running hills. We're running stairs. We're doing all the extra work that's required to make sure that you separate yourself from the rest of the competition. So I'm, I'm, I'm figuring out that I have to show them because they didn't have the opportunity to see the example set out in front of them. So that's that's been my epiphany, Nate, dog. That's what we're doing this week. Man, you know, and that's a good thing because a lot of people are trying to travel like Nate, the old head, <laughs> is doing – but a lot of times to, to show your kids, like my mother and father took us to work periodically with them to show us that, you know, life, life is just not wake up and oh, all of a sudden I got a cell phone. Mm-hmm. It's a, it's a reason you got a cell phone. Right. It's a, it's a something behind why you got this cell phone. Yeah. Somebody had to pay for this. Somebody had to sacrifice something. Right. And that's all you show your kids is how the world, work for those that want to be successful agreed 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 so um with that in terms of being successful when you are successful in the nfl you know you go through your collegiate career you you're blessed to get drafted some of you non-drafted but you're able to get to a second contract and you're in a position where you're now considered what they say a free agent nate dog and yes. this week, the NFL kicked off the free agency period, which means that teams can sign eligible free agents. And, you know, we always talk about these Dallas Cowboys, but we not only are we going to talk about them Cowboys, we're going to talk about what the rest of the league is doing. I want you to say it with your chest and tell us what team is doing what they need to do in order to to secure their spot in competitively in their divisions. What, what teams are sticking out for you in terms of this free agent market right now? I'm going to tell you who's done the most amazing job. And that is uh, the Denver Broncos. Mm. 
they went out and secured two offensive linemen. Yep, Ben Powers right and Mike McGlinchey. McGlin- I don't know how to pronounce the last name, but Mike, the offensive tackle, uh, five years, $87.5 million. Uh, he came from San Francisco, I believe, and uh, big Ben Powers is an offensive guard. They got him at four years, $52 million. They did that day one, Nate. They, and you know what's so amazing, Isaiah? They didn't waste no time. They saw that their quarterback struggled. Everybody's looking at the, the weapons on the outside. Everybody's looking at the running back. Sean Payton said, no, 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 y'all don't get this. Mm. I have to have my core. And, and, and let me speak about core. Go ahead. Isaiah, I, I would ask you to open, you know, pull your shirt up so they can see a true <laughs> core. They, I don't have a core. I, I have just just mass. But a true core comes from the gut. Mm. And and Coach Sean Payton said, I'm going to fix the core of my team. That's the middle of my offense to make sure that my quarterback have a chance to do the things I need him to do. I don't disagree with you, Nate, dog. You know, I think we both are on record, especially here. And let me tell you something, talking about how the Dallas Cowboys, we would like to see them approach free agency by going and being aggressive, much like the Denver Broncos. Uh, uh, well, who's running things over there? Uh, not, yeah, John Elway, right? John Elway. Yeah, John uh, Elway yeah. is the big dog. Yeah. But, but he know how to let his coach cook mm. and go out and buy the groceries. And Sean Payton going to buy the right groceries. I believe that. <laughs> well, he definitely went to Costco and spent some bread because he went out there and got two <laughs> big hosses up front that are the premier guys at their position in terms of free agency. They locked that up. They now have two pieces that they added to their offensive front to try to secure Things with obviously their quarterback over there. Um, now you have to look at what disappointment do you have so far in free agency, Nate Dog? And I, I have a feeling I know where you're going with it, but I'm just going to ask it anyway. My disappointment is that the, that the Dallas Cowboys didn't go out and lock up two uh, offensive linemen, and I'm gonna even say by them letting Connor McGovern go. Ooh. And not let it, or either not, I was all right to let him go, uh-huh. but I wanted you to replace him. Nate. With a player that was paid. a little bit better. He got paid, Nate. And, yeah, and to get someone that I don't, you know what? <laughs> I, I, I'm through with I'm through with that. You know, every time I, I, I turn around, everybody's saying the cap, the cap, the cap, the cap. Mm. Okay. I don't want to hear that no more. Okay. You have to do things as a team sometimes for the fans and for the people that love you. Facts. It's time for the Cowboys to stop with the cap. It's time for our local media Uh. to stop running around trying to fix the Dallas Cowboys cap. Yeah. And stop fixing the people that make sure. Let let me tell you something. It's because we have sponsors. Uh And we'll pay and we're supposed to be responsible for bringing the truth. Yeah, that's we right. We have to start. Yeah, taking care of our people, and the and the bulk of our people is the Dallas Cowboy fans. That the church it's say, "It's time Amen. for us to make a commitment as an organization." You know, to to say we need this so we can reach this level. Okay, and I, we haven't done that. So, Nate, let's, let's let's touch on that briefly. Now, speaking of the cap. Right. And everybody talking about the cap as of today, the filming of this show, the teams have to be underneath the cap because the league year is starting. They got to be underneath the cap by 3 p.m. Eastern today and cap casualties are something that happens when a team right. is unwilling or they're going to be over. The, they're going to be over the cap or they're unwilling to pay somebody because of the, the cap space that they're going to require or the salary they're going to require. So this year's cap casualty is seemingly going to be who, Nate? Uh, uh, for us, the Cowboys? For the Cowboys. We're not going to have any cap casualties, man. Oh, yes, you are. Yes, no, you no, are. no, 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 no. And, and see, I understand what you're saying. What players <laughs> should they release? I understand. Uh-huh. But I, I, I'm, I'm saying the, the cap. The cap's not the reason. Some guys we should restructure their contract. Uh-huh. And uh like like I think they they went in there and restructured that contract. They restructured 
uh, uh, Zach Martin contract. Yeah. Uh, they're working on Tyron Smith contract. Am I right? Yeah, I believe they. I don't think they've done Dax yet. I think they okay. still have to do Dax. Those are the type casualties we should have. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. You know, Dak. Let, let, let me say something. You, 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 you got to help your team. Mm. You, you got to help your team. And I, more than just being the quarterback. Okay. You gotta, you gotta financially help your team. And I know everybody say, hey, you know, like, like, like Tank said, you know, a couple of years ago, that ain't my problem. Mm. Well, is winning your problem? <laughs> Is winning your first priority. So you mean he needs to take the Tom Brady approach? That's what you're saying? Guess what? Who won the Super Bowl? He won more than anybody. A, a non-top five paid quarterback. He won That's more than... who won the Super Bowl. A non-top five paid quarterback. Facts. Our quarterback need to be a cap casualty. <laughs> Our left tackle Tyron Smith need to be a cap casualty. I, I'm serious. By redoing you. your contract yeah. and making them so that these coaches – can have a chance to coach these teams. I'm not against you, Nate. Now, who is the coach? Who who who, who you think should be cap cashers? I can tell you who's going to get released, and most likely they will try to resign him. Right. Who is that? Ezekiel Elliott. Man, Isaiah, let me tell you something. Go ahead, please. <laughs> you know what, man? Don't make. And I'm not saying you, my brother. No. But I, I'm telling the world. Mm-hmm. Don't make an obvious news okay that's that's obvious yes that that's obvious if zeke zeke will be the first one to tell you okay i understand i got y'all okay. the last two years i done got paid and i knew this day was coming i hear you look like look like you might have froze a little bit look like we i think we lost nate dog for a hot second but what he was referred to was Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott this year is supposed to count 60. Oh, are you are you back? You still in there? So Yeah, I'm, I'm back. I'm okay. back because when you in your car, my car cut off. I, I gotta apologize. Oh, there you good. <laughs> my car cut off and my hot spot went out. <laughs> <laughs> you good. I was about to tell the people that Zeke is about to count 16.3 million dollars against the cap this year, and along with you tagging Tony Pollard for what 10.1 so you're looking at 26 million dollars just in two just in your your backfield really I'm um, not even including Malik Davis so but see, see, come on Isaiah stop hey I'm just saying stop, what, I'm just saying what's let on the paper you, Nate let me tell you something stop man stop <laughs> bro oh Z uh, I love you this is what we are gonna offer for you you know we got we we know we we Zeke. This is what we're gonna offer you. What you got either for him, Zeke Nate? Take it, either Zeke take it. Uh huh. Three point five. Ooh, from sixteen yeah, three yeah. to three five. Three million dollars <laughs> with a point and a five. So that's three hundred three million dollars. <laughs> five hundred thousand and five hundred extra to sign. Yeah, he ain't gonna do that, Nate. Okay. Well, bye. Dang. Just like that. We're making a nine a nine. I love Zeke. I defend Zeke. You know who else defends him and loves him? Zeke. Dak Prescott loves him and defends him. What? Well, okay. They well, best if friends. Dak loves him and defends it. Won't Dak say, "Well, you know what? I'm I'm, I'm gonna give up a little money. Go to Jerry. Mm. If Jerry, I'm gonna do that. Hey, I, hey, allocate some of these funds to Zeke. Ooh, you think that? You think they're that good of friends? No, nah, they ain't. <laughs> no, they ain't. <laughs> He'll, he'll, he'll tell you just like most. He'll tell you just like most dudes right before Valentine tell their girlfriend, "I love, I you. love you, but I don't love you that much." <laughs> Can we break up for a couple of days? <laughs> yeah, come on now. I with you. I with you. Yeah, I, a, I don't know too many friendships that are going to give up. Give up about ten million dollars, thirteen million dollars in that case. Yeah. So. But okay, so so we know Zeke's gonna be gone most likely, and, and being that he's Jerry's boy, being that he's Dak's boy, they will try to resign him. But the initial news most likely will come down that Zeke is going to get released. So that's what's going to transpire. But speaking of that, you're unwilling to pay Zeke, but Dallas did be aggressive for the first time in a long time in free agency. Nate, do they? They made moves on day two of free agency. And yes. the the moves that they made is they traded away a, a compensatory fifth round pick for one Stefan 
Gilmore. You know, if those that don't know who Stephon Gilmore is, about two years ago, he was the most highly touted cornerback in the league. Hands down, considered to be the best in the league at the cornerback position. Would you disagree with that, Nate? Oh, uh, man, uh, also a beast. Yeah, he's a beast. one of the first guys that Belichick, if Belichick pays you, you can play. Yeah. And Belichick paid him about four years ago, paid him ungodly amounts of money. He, and by my estimate, he was the best corner four years in mm -hmm. a, a gold pill. A lot of people say Jalen Ramsey, but that dude that was sitting up in New England was a beast and still is got beast like tendencies. Mm -hmm. So two years or a year ago, he signed a deal with the Indianapolis Colts. He signed a two year, $20 million deal with the, with the Indianapolis Colts. Um, he was guaranteed nine and a half at signing, had a $4 million signing bonus, blase, blase. Now, Dallas now assumes his contract, Nate, because he was traded. This was not a free agency yeah. pickup. They now assume his contract. So he is going to count $9.9 .9 million against the cap, and he is going to have a base salary of $7.9 million. So he's going to cost the team just under $10 million this year. What are your thoughts on that? Who cares? Who cares? I'm just asking, Nate. Got a player. You do got a beast. He's a beast. I consider him a beast. When you go out and get a player freak sale, yeah. when you go out and get a player, you're never gonna get Nate Newton to say anything. There you go. Okay. That's what I wanted the people to hear. When, when I, we, I'm just giving out the facts, Nate. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not coming down on the man. I'm just spitting out what people are gonna look at I, I, as everybody's talking I'm about cap space. hundred percent yeah. Isaiah. I'm agreeing hundred percent. When you go out and get a football player, I'm not gonna have a problem. Mm -hmm. But when you go out and this dude, is, is he four years ago? No, he's not four years ago because we wouldn't have him if he was four Correct. years ago because that was a total awesome <laughs> yeah, piece. Fact. He has the mental capabilities mm -hmm. and still had the physical skills to be a top corner in this league. Agreed. Agreed. So now what we have to do on the front end is make sure we got somebody up there so this dude can work in the back end because he'll get that ball. Yep. You you throw an errant pass, or you a little bit uh, tips and what you and uh, Church you said tips and overthrows. Got to get those. Yeah, yeah. he gonna get them. They have now secured their secondary, Nate. They have all. Yes. They have Donovan Wilson back. Uh, they signed That's him. Great. They re they re uh, re signed him. Uh, was it three years up to twenty four million dollars, thirteen and a half guaranteed? So they got their man there. He's the leading tackler on the Dallas Cowboys defense. The second leading tackler on their defense was re signed yesterday, as of the filming of this show. In one Leighton Vander Esch, they got him two years, eleven million dollars. Now the word on the street is Nate. It was between signing Vander Esch or signing Mister Bobby Wagner. What are your thoughts on the Dallas Cowboys' decision to go with Leighton Vanderish? I, I, I like it. He's a younger guy. Uh, he's had kind of issues with the injuries, missing games. I like it. He's a younger guy. Uh, I, I, Mr. Wagner's just a little too old, and I told you that off air yesterday. I know you're going to try to hit me Nate, with this, but, but I'm going to come back. But, right. Nate, hold on, hold on, but hold on, Nate. I, Nate. You're talking about Bobby's too old. Bobby, I think, might be... Let me find out exactly how old Bobby is. He might be man, 33. Bobby, Bobby to play like 10 years for your team, bro. <laughs> Bobby, Bobby Wagner. Bobby played 10 years for you. Let me see how old Bobby Wagner is. for the Seahawks. Bobby Wagner is 32 years old. He is the same age as Stephon Gilmore. How many years <laughs> has he played? The same amount the of years as Stephon Gilmore. 11 years. <laughs> You know Gilmore better than, than than Wagner. That's don't go there. That's don't go there. And I'm gonna ask you this once again. Nate, Nate, I'm gonna ask you, you talking about age? You talking about age? You trying to set me up, y'all. <laughs> you cannot set me up. I'm gonna ask you this question here. Why why haven't the Seattle Seahawks reunited? Like Peaches and Herb, well, he probably why they reunited? They probably will now, Nate. Now that he's not coming to, to reunite with Dan Quinn, he probably will go to Seattle. If he goes to Seattle, then I'll be hurt because I'll be like, wow, we should have got him because he's still <laughs> this guy. <laughs> hey, Seattle's yeah. rebuilding their defense right now. They're rebuilding their defense. All right, so you got so those are all the signings, okay? Gilmore was a part of a trade. He's here in Dallas. Donovan Wilson got re-signed. Van Ares got re-signed. Tony Pollard got the tag. What else does Dallas need to do now, knowing that those offensive linemen that we love so dearly most likely are off the, the main ones at least, Nate, are off the board? The Cowboys okay. have to 
go out and get a veteran offensive lineman that can play 75 snaps a game. Mm. It's, it, you're going to have to find, and I don't care if you play center, I don't care if you play guard, I don't care if you play tackle. We have to go out and get us a, 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 a two, not one, but two. And you know what? I'll give up Gilmore. I'll give up Van Der Esch. I'll give up all of that. What we? I'll give up Tony Pollard if we can go out and get two horses in the middle of our offensive line. Yeah. Or as at a tackle, I, I, I will. I'll give up all of that. Trade it all for me, for me two offensive linemen. Okay. All right. Well, man, that is that is what's going down in Dallas. I'll go briefly over what's going down in the rest of the NFC East. You have the Washington Commanders. They picked up a couple offensive linemen. They got your boy Deron Payne to the big boy contract, four years, $90 million. I know you don't want to hear that, Nate. Um, they picked up a couple more linebackers and a couple corners. Okay, the Philadelphia Eagles, they went to let – me, Let me say this, Isaiah. What you got? Bigger than that, they got an offensive coordinator. Yes, they did. Bigger than that, yep. they got Eric, Eric Bien- 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 yep. offensive coordinator. He's going to know what to do with his talent. That's true. He, I promise you he's going to know what to do with it. They have gotten better just yes. by – Adding a adding a, a, a offensive coordinator. Unfortunately, he has the same ownership though, Nate. So nobody's going to go there. Uh, <laughs> you go to the Philadelphia. Don't be, don't, don't be too shocked. Yeah, yeah, I know, right? Philadelphia Money Eagles tells. went to Seattle and stole Rashad Penny from from Seattle. Uh, they re-signed Boston Scott. They re-signed Jason Kelsey, who was uh, looking at potentially retiring. They got Brandon Graham back. Doggone it. And they re-signed James Bradbury. So they got some of their key guys back. But they in. lost the horse, though. They, they did lose the, the horse. Har- Hargrave. Hargrave, Hargrave yeah. right? They lost Hargrave to the 49ers. Goodness gracious. Yeah. Um, and the most active team in the division has been who, Nate? I don't even want to talk about it. Man. I know you don't want to talk about it, but we got to say it. New York, man. New York who? Giants, baby. Them Giants have been I active. You, man. They, re- they re-signed Dan- Danny Dimes. That was up in the air. They gave that man... Four years, one hundred sixty million dollars. I need to come out of retirement. Um, Saquon, that's an overpay right there. Yeah, exactly. That's an overpay. I don't care. They're saying that's overpay. they're saying that's the going yeah. mar- the going rate for quarterbacks. So I, you know what? Stop that. <laughs> the league is being ruined on the going rate. The league is being ruined on the going hey, rate. Okay? You can't. Hey, you can, you you like you like them doggone uh, sprinter vans, Nate. You know what the going rate is for a sprinter van. You can't just go pick one yeah. up for less than what the market well, that's says. Like you ain't bought one yet. <laughs> the going rate ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you ain't bought one. You dog all right. You dog all right. I'm gonna figure it out without it. Uh Saquon Barkley got the non-exclusive tag. Okay, they brought uh that they was got a great move there. Yeah. That was a great move there. Yep. Uh the, the big boy trade that we saw just came down yesterday. Darren Waller. You have wow. given the dog on Giants a real tight end. Man, I, if he stay healthy, Isaiah, we in trouble. Yeah. If he stay healthy, we in trouble. I'm talking about the Dallas Cowboys personally. Yeah, he's a problem. Wow. He's a problem. All right. So that's what's going on in free agency, y'all. There's going to be a lot more things that come down, but we wanted to make sure we can get Nate to pull over to the side of the road and touch base on what the Cowboys have got going on. Uh, we'll be back at this thing next week. Nate, you got anything else you want to speak on in terms of free agency? Uh, nah, man. Nah. Nah, man. Nah. I'm at the Oka Hopka. O- Opa, what Toll is, Plaza. What? I'm at the Okahopka. Okahopka. Toll Plaza with my uncle Jeremiah, man. Hey, big He's unk. Up here big unk, man. You make sure you take care of my guy and our guy, Nate Dog. Make sure that he uh, keeps his eyes open. We know he's a road warrior, okay? But we don't yeah, need we don't, sure. <laughs> we don't need that man getting sleepy on them roads, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Take care of your kids, man. I love what you're doing with them, Isaiah. I appreciate I love you. what you're doing with them. I appreciate you, man. Hey, y'all be safe over there, Nate Dog. All right, and Big Unk. Y'all be safe hey. out there, y'all, in the uh in the good old dubcast network. What you got, Nate? Hey. Hey, let me, hey, hey, what's our main sponsor's name? I do not want to say it wrong. <laughs> we need to go back and clip that from last week. <laughs> <laughs> Niagara. All right. Niagara. Niagara. Thank you. We flushed another one down. We flushed another one down, y'all. We'll see y'all next time on Let Me Tell You Something. <laughs>